Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today I'm going to walk you through how you can use Monday for resource management. I'm not going to emphasize and I'm not going to go into too much details about how to use Monday because we already did this before in, in one of our tutorials. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you like tips about how to manage your own resources. So let's get started. First of all, he's, here is my own workspace. It's empty, so I'm going to add a, a board to my own workspace and I'm going to use a template to do so. And in my template, I'm going to search for a template that is specialized in the resource. By writing resource in the search bar, I found this template, so I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to click on use template. Just give, give it a couple of seconds and here we go. So as I, told, as I said before, I will not go into much details about how this template was made because we already covered this in one of our tutorials. But I'm just going to tell you about each of these columns so that we can start manipulating them. Here, in our first column, we have the item. In case you, you can't read the whole title here, you can just expand it by dragging the separate here. So here we have the items which represent actually the tasks that you've got. And here you have the project itself. There is no project added. Here you have your own um, people who are assigned to this uh, to these tasks. So I'm just going to add uh, my own people here fast and I'm going to be back to you in seconds. Now after assigning each task to a specific person in my in my list here, I have now my project progress. So basically I have some people who are, are stuck in their own task, some people who have completed their tasks and some people who are actually in progress. And he, here is the project timeline. So basically this is how uh, much the project will take. And here, let's just expand this to be able to read it. This is the duration, number of days. And here, this is the hours required team size, day rate, uh, um, project budget, I think. And here is the resource cost, which is the actual cost that the project takes. So, of course, the difference between them are the remaining budget I have. And here, if you want to add any additional teammates, you can also add additional teammates by just clicking again on this plus sign and you will be able to add additional ones. So uh, I will just add uh, two people for each task th so that it will help the feature that I'm going to explain to you in seconds. Now after finalizing or distributing the tasks on my employees, I want to um, I want to manage the, this, this uh, resource. I want to manage my own employees. How can I make this? I don't, know, I don't know how much stress my own employees. I don't know how much workload is distributed among them. This can be uh, fully emphasized by going to views here. Click on add view. Then you can select more views. And now let's search for something called workload. This one. This is an amazing feature that can help you to manage your own resources. So by clicking on it, you will have this new view. of your own employees and how much work is distributed among them. So by going, by navigating among this workload, I can see that this is how my employees are stressed. I can just go with full screen to see it better. And here you can see the employees here and the date here. And these circles represent the amount of work on each employee. So here you can see that this is the number of work that is um, assigned to each employee and the blue circle, the dark blue circle or the, that circle in the middle represents the number of tasks on each employee, which is number one here. And this light circle in the, out, in the outside diameter represents the maximum number of tasks per employee. So basically here, Kelly has three tasks on some weeks so it autom automatically created uh, the maximum tasks as three tasks, which means that this outer circle represents three tasks 
and this small circle represents the number of tasks per each employee. And since Kelly uh, is my own benchmark or my own reference for the maximum number of um, tasks, that's why you will see that the internal circle and the external circle will actually uh, be the same because Kelly has the maximum number of tasks. So basically the actual tasks on Kelly are exactly the same as the maximum number of tasks. That's why we have only one circle for, for Kelly in some of the weeks uh, on here. While the other employees have two circles, which represents the number of tasks per employee and the maximum number of tasks, which is the light outside circle. In order to be able to manage your, in, um, your own employees, you can go to your own options here, then choose settings. And now let's navigate to effort and capacity. And here you can set the maximum capacity regarding count items and regarding effort. We will do the we will do both of them. So here I will just select the maximum amount of items of person as two items. And here you will find the under stressed employees, the stress the balanced the balanced employees and the overstressed employees. So here we have that Caroline is very balanced the work on Caroline is balanced Erin has underbalanced stress and Kelly has over stress Clit has under under stress underbalanced stress or has low stress Sandra has low stress and finally Sarah has low stress so this means that actually Kelly has very much stress on her while other employees have lower stresses, which is unfair. You can also do the same as effort here, but in this um, in this section, you will decide how much time um, or the maximum time or the maximum number of hours per week instead of the maximum number of tasks per week. So I will just put as nine hours per week. And here you will find that most of the employees are not stressed while Kelly is overstressed. In order to be able to repair this situation, you can just double click on this circle. Let's just first make it back as number of tasks instead of number of hours. I will choose count items here, where it will just, I, and yeah, I will just choose the weekly capacity as two tasks per week. So here I, will, I would like to remove some of the overstress on Kelly and put it on one of the other employees who don't have enough stress. Of course, I will not put the task on Caroline because she already has a balanced uh, work environment. So I will just uh, remove some of these tasks and maybe I will move it to Sarah, for example, because she is uh, she doesn't have much stress. I will double click on this circle and here it will show me the tasks that are on Kelly. So here, you can see that this is these are the two days in which Kelly is is overstressed so i can go and choose any of these three projects and i can move it to maybe sandra let's move it to sandra for example let's just drag this one sorry Well, I don't think it's going to be dragged and dropped, so of course I will just go to this task. I will. I Now I identified that I want to move it from Kelly to uh, Sarah, so I will go to this task, for example, which is initial contacts. Here we will find that both Kelly and Sarah, so I will have to choose something else like dashboard project, where you will find both Kelly and Caroline. So I'm going to just go here, and I'm going to remove Kelly, then I will add Sarah. And now I'm going to exit and see how is my result. So perfect. Here you can see that now Caroline is balanced. Erin has low stress. Kelly is balanced. Clyde has low stress. Sandra has low stress. And Sarah sometimes has low stress and sometimes is balanced. So basically now all my employees have a, like a fair distribution of work. And this is how easy you can use Monday to manage your own resources and avoid overstress on any of your own employees. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, 
press a like then subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos until then take care and goodbye